We are officially starting the Kamikaze album review. The general vibe of this album is M having a lot of sh to get off his chest and then M still remaining one of, if not the best lyricist in this bitch. The game or Eminem? Eminem. Really? Eminem is dope. I mean, I, I ain't saying game ain't dope, but Eminem is 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 the motherfucker wrote uh, things that ain't the same for gangsters. Mm. Now, th he wrote that. That's one of my favorite for songs. Dre, for Dre. For Dre. Right. Next time you come across these mother haters, bro, make sure you play them this goddamn reaction from Stevie Knight YouTube channel. Let's get it. Things just ain't the same for gangsters. Times is changing. Yo. Is aging. But the strangest things can happen from jabbing pregnant women in the abdomen so they can't have children. You try to come back at me with what you gonna do? Try to outrat me with that happy shit. This is a shot to Ja Rule. Rap beef, motherfucker. Middle fingers split and things and shit. Your friends just flipped over this wind pin and shit. What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. But to get on one of these things, you feel me? What's good with the watch? Nice watch. Shit. So, sitting back last night, thinking about some things. As far as this old women and Benzino situation and just the, uh, just the racist element towards it and, like, the main argument that the culture has against Eminem, dog. Like, we can't relate to that shit. Nobody listens to Eminem in the hood. You know what I mean? And, like, even though I know the, the vast majority of viewers on my channel will already know what the fuck I'm talking about, um, I'm going to make an effort into focusing on records that the culture will fuck with. You know what I mean? You know, so stupid, bro. It's so stupid that I even got to do this, dog. But, I mean, for all these fools out here that just, that just think that Eminem is how my name is and Nine Inch Nails and, you know, I kill my mother type shit, bro. This is for y'all. So, you know, for those of y'all who are, who know of certain people that like to, you know, talk shit about Eminem or hold that critique of him where, like, black folks just can't relate... <laughs> Wait, wait, what type of shit is that? Like, 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 like all black folks is the same. Right. Um, but that's often the argument that black folks can't relate to what the fuck Eminem is talking about. Um, we're going to make an effort to say that that's cap. You know what I mean? Uh, of course, Patreon get it first. You feel me? So, uh, and then, well, I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna have to uh, post this. More sooner than later, bro, because you see what it is, dog. <laughs> you see what it is, bro. Um, we killing two birds with one stone with this one, dog, because we are going to revisit Nail in the Coffin. You know what I mean? I know I did a reaction to shit way back in the day, a couple years back. Um, I don't, yeah, I think I just did it because y'all told me to. But since we are in the midst of all this shit right now, we got to bring attention back on to the, the, the knockout punch that Eminem put on Benzino 20 years ago. You feel me? Uh, no, we just did Armageddon too. So I, I wanna, to me, I wanna uh, compare Armageddon to Nail in the Coffin, bro, because Armageddon is fire. The Invasion Part 3, that shit is, that was a fire ass diss track. So I wanna see how this one stack up against it too. And yeah, I mean, just to, to, just to show that Eminem Ben put this fool to sleep a long time ago, but then, uh, you know, the culture can't, the culture don't rock with Eminem, right? Okay, well, Let's see how much the culture don't rock with this. Um, like always, though, grinding the grow, growing the ground all the damn time. Night Nation, Night Watch. Love y'all more because, man, merch, shop, StevieKnight.com. Anytime you see me rocking some drip that you rocking with, pull up over to the site. I got you. And, um, yeah, putting that nail back in that coffin again. This motherfucker, man. It's a long setup yeah. with you. Talking about I owe you. Bitch, you owe me. Facts. I'm owing you right now. Facts. Yo, let's put the nail in this coffin. I don't wanna be like this. I don't was, it, was this the last diss of all the shots that M took at Benzino back then? 
I'm thinking, cause that's why it's the nail in the coffin. Like he already did. We just put him in the bed for good. He ain't coming back, even though he did come back. But <laughs> we put him away for good. They wanna hurt no yeah. feelings, but I'm only being real when I say nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap. Nope. And old men have oh, all lyrics. Even though I don't need them, but let's, get, let's get the lyrics, bro. Let's get the lyrics, dog. This motherfucker, man. Yeah. It's yeah. long shut up, yeah. will you? Yeah. Talking about I owe you. Bitch, you owe me. I'm promoting you right now. Yo, let's put the nail in this coffin. I don't wanna be like this. I don't really wanna hurt no feelings. But I'm only being real when I say nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap. Facts. You know, men have heart attacks. And I don't wanna be responsible for that. So, come on. Oh. 20 years ago <laughs> and he's still talking that shit like it's 20 years ago bro because it's 60 i can't get over that dog like down and walk away you can still have a little bit of dignity i would never claim to be no rape and zeno an 83 year old fake pacino so how can he hold me over some balcony without throwing his lower back out as soon as he goes to lift me please don't you'll probably fall with me and i'll ask the boat be history but then again you finally get your wish Cause you be all over the street Like 50 cent Yeah, he got off on this one <laughs> He got off on this one, bro Finally get your wish Cause you be all over the street Like 50 cent <laughs> You fucking punk pussy Fuck you, chump Give me a one-on-one -on -one. See if I don't fuck you up Try to jump the Rough Riders And they cut you up And you put Jada on a track That's how much you suck Dick in the industry Swear that you in the streets hustling You sit behind a fucking desk At the source butt kissing And begging motherfuckers For guest appearances And you can't even get the clearances Cause real lyricists Don't even respect you Or take you serious It's not the we don't like you, we hate you, period. Talk about a midlife crisis, damn. Last week you were shaking Obi Trice's hand, now he's a buster? What the fuck's with that? Get on a track, kissing us, kissing 50's ass, and asking me what I know about indictments. Bite me, bitch, I got two cases and probation. Fight me. What do I know about standing in front of a judge like a man ready to take whatever sentence he has? What's man, bro, like, culture, man. Culture these nuts, bro. Real talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's such that's such a cop out reason to be trying to hate. But it's it's a cop out, but it's bullshit too. It's bullshit too, bro. Because it wouldn't matter what type of music Eminem made. He could be out here just making bops for the club, saying the most relatable shit ever. Right? It doesn't matter what he do or what he's done. The fact that he has this just turns those people off no matter what he do bro clearly it doesn't matter what he's done bro because he got so much you know what i'm saying like this talking shit, like this tracks bro talking shit records boppy records records for the club i mean like he, he got all that you know what i'm saying but and like i say even if his sole focus was stuff for the culture the culture would never accept him like that because he's white <laughs> Right, the only way they would accept him is if he wasn't as successful as he is, right? Because since he's successful, they're always going to play that race card. You know about your wife slicing the wrist right in front of the only thing that you have in this world, a little, little girl. girl. And I put that on her when this is all over. I would never try to make her a star and eat off her. I don't know shit about no shopping rocks, but what you know about it, pop shops, rocking spots, where you're the only white boy up in that bitch just ripping, pressing up your own flyers and your stickers, sticking them bitches up after spending six hours at Kinko's, making copies of your covers of cassette singles to sell them out of the trunk of your tracer, spending your whole paychecks at disc makers. What I'm saying, bro, that's like a snapshot out of some culture type shit, bro. How many times have you heard that story? You know what I'm saying? Have you, how many times you heard one of these rappers nowadays saying, well, not, not nowadays, because nowadays you just go up on SoundCloud or whatever whatever app they use for people to post music and go viral. But back then, when you were slanging CDs out the trunk of the whip, right, that was the rite of passage for a lot of people. Not even a rite of passage, it was just what, what needed to be done to create some buzz about you. So you had to be in these streets, you know what I'm saying, giving CDs away for free, trying to get your exposure and shit to, to get a little buzz. Bruh, M literally is doing the same shit you hear all the rappers do back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I will argue, bruh, nah, I will argue. It's, it's, I don't need to argue. It's no debate. It's no debate about it, bro. There's not a rapper out here has, that has more of a fucking 
a better hip hop story, a culture story than fucking Eminem. In regards to this introduction into hip hop, that a rapper out here, dog, that had to go through what this motherfucker had to go through to be taken serious as a rapper. It was used against him to get in, and now it was used against him to discredit him. Let's continue. <laughs> Bro, I feel weird even like going back through this nail in the coffin. Well, not weird, but. Like, like, M's taking shots all day at Benzino, but these shots were 20 years ago, bro. But Benzino has put himself out here so crazy and literally has been clowning himself. Benzino has been clowning himself so much that the sh that Eminem talks in this record, hell, in Doomsday 2, pales in comparison to what Benzino has done to himself. Bro, cuz is looking wild. Wild, bro, and it's all self-inflicted, bro. Cuz has literally put the shotgun in his mouth and pulled the trigger, as far as socially. You know what I mean? But you know, any pub is good pub to him. Any pub is good pub to him. Clearly. I'm out of the trunk of your tracer, spending your whole paychecks at disc makers. What you know about being bullied over half your life? Oh, that's right. You should know what that's like. You're half white. Vanilla ice, Philippines and rice. I'm eating you alive inside. Jesus Christ, if you're that much of a gangster, put the mic down. You should be out killing motherfuckers right now. Kill a motherfucker dead. Kill him dead, bitch. Shoot him in the fucking head. Go ahead, bitch. Slap my mom. Slap the fuck out of her. She can't sue you. She wouldn't get a buck out of you because you're broke as fuck. You suck. You're a fucking choke if you was really selling coke. But then what the fuck you stop for, dummy? If you slew some crack, you'd make Make a lot more money than you do from rap. You'll never have no security. You'll never be famous. You'll never know what it's like to be rich. Like the bitch, ain't it? Yeah, Great. he went crazy, bro. This one's just a lot more disrespectful. Uh, Armageddon, it was more, it's creativity and and, and, and wordplay and, and flipping the narrative. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just, he got in his bag writing-wise more on Armageddon than he did with this. This, I'm just going to fuck you up, dog. I'm just going to talk shit, dog. This is all fighting words. What's up? You want some smoke? Let's get it. Here, yeah, let me break this shit down in layman's terms for you just to make sure that you can understand it. cannabis ain't using too many complicated fucking words for you. Here, yeah, let Too many complicated fucking words for you because they didn't even know what entendre meant. He didn't even know what entendre meant, dog. I can understand it's a cannabis ain't using too many complicated fucking words for you. Yeah, let me slow it down for you so that you can understand if I say it slower. Let it go, dog, it's over. I don't wanna be like this. I don't really wanna hurt no feelings. But I'm only being real when I say nobody wanna hear that grandfather, grandfather rap. Uh -uh. No men have heart attacks, and I don't want to be responsible for that. So put the mic down and walk away. You can still have a little bit of dignity. Uh -huh. yeah. Talking about, I have motherfuckers calling your crib. Bitch, you ain't even got a fucking crib. Facts. You ain't even got a fucking phone. <laughs> Dude, he Fuck. still don't got one, bro. He lived with a shouted, dog. <laughs> That's got to suck, bro. I know he bitter as fuck from that, dog. And he carries that with him everywhere he goes, bro. To have so much fucking money like he did back in the day to literally not be worth nothing now, dog. Made all the worst decisions living in the past, dog. So that midlife crisis hit even harder, bro, because you just resent the fucking decisions you made back in the day. <laughs> Cuz could have been one of the most rich motherfuckers out of the hip-hop industry if he, if he was... If he had done what he was supposed to with that money back in the day when he was 40 plus. I mean, you was making that bread when he was 40 plus. Financial literacy is fucking retarded. You have none. Bro, now you sitting here broke. <laughs> broke. Still think about that goddamn interview I had with his ass, bro. You know, let me tell you what I've done when I, when I didn't even ask him. Let me tell you what I've done, Rich. Nobody gives a fuck about what you did, bro. <laughs> you clearly give a fuck about what the hell you did, dude. You can't, you can't let it go, bro. It's over. It's over, though. You got to hang on to any every little ounce of relativity you can get today, including, you know what I'm saying, leeching on to the clout of reactors to stay 
popping, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's how sad it is, bro. The more you talk shit about, but now he jumping on every goddamn, everybody goddamn platform trying to squeeze it, squeeze every ounce of goddamn juice he can out this Eminem beef. I know he swear he just waiting for Eminem to respond so he can keep this shit going, but M ain't because you keep killing yourself, dog. Just be quiet. Shut the fuck up and like Eminem respond. It's too late now. He's not going to, but you, you like that shit has sale, bro. You literally don't need to do shit because you keep killing yourself so much so that I had to go back to the nail in the coffin to get a response from M because you took you took whatever he was going to do away from us by the shit you doing that you continue to do, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Right, nigga. Shut me down at your little fucking source magazine if I come back when you want to attack you. Bitch, you attack me first. Take it like a man and shut the fuck up. Fuck your little magazine too. I don't need your little fucking magazine. I got double XL number anyways. And y'all can't stand it because they get bigger than y'all. Oh. And by the way, how'd I look on the VMAs? When you was watching me from whatever fucking TV you was watching me from. <laughs> In the mean streets of Boston. The mean streets of Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, can't he still say that shit today? Be still saying this shit today. That's crazy. That's hilarious, bro. Fucking sissy. <laughs> then you got a scared up here, motherfucker. Suck on motherfucking pigs. Oh. And for those that don't know, don't get it twisted, yo. The source has a white owner. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, he went crazy on that one, man. Yeah, I just this one was hella more disrespectful, dog. This is like a dis. I mean, they both diss records. Armageddon and this one are both diss records, but I think this one would appeal more to the masses, right? For those who are are unaware of the details of the beef, you hear this shit like, "Ooh, them fighting words, dog. What's happening?" I think more people would enjoy this one over the Armageddon shit. I think like hip hop, hip hop heads, motherfuckers more in tune with what's going on with the beef. People who appreciate bars, lyricism, creativity, and shit, they're gonna fuck with the Armageddon one more. They both are fired at me, though, dog. They're both fired at me, though. It depends, it depends on what mood I'm on, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you turn this shit on, motherfucker trying to pull up on somebody. You turn the goddamn Armageddon shit on, bro. All right, bro. This is, this, is, this is some rap shit. You feel me? Regardless, dog, culture. For the culture, bro. Fucking say black folks won't fuck with this, won't like this. They won't bump this, bro. You're fucking crazy. You're 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 out your mind. You're 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 racist. That's what it is. Um, but yeah, man, we are out here grinding to grow, growing the grind all the goddamn time. Night Nation, Night Watch, love y'all, motherfuckers.